hey guys welcome back to another video now today we'll be making bread pudding with a jamaican twist so before we jump into this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend so let's jump into it so here i am just breaking up some bread some leftover bread you have leftover bread guys don't throw it out awesome recipe can become of it So now that's done, here's a list of the ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe. I have some milk, some rum, some sugar, vanilla, some spice, some condensed milk, dried fruits, and some eggs. So let's start off with the custard. So in my blender, I'm adding some whole milk. Now you could use almond milk or coconut milk. To that, I'm adding some condensed milk. Now the condensed milk is optional, but it adds an extra bit of richness to the bread pudding. Some vanilla extract some white overproof rum no you could use any other rum that you have or you could just leave it out some sugar and my eggs look guys a double yolk Also, another double yolk. Now we're going to give this a blend. Now I'm going to add some spice. So this spice is some cinnamon powder, nutmeg, and some mixed spice. Now we're going to mix our wet and dry ingredients together. So here I have some dried cranberry and raisin. If you don't like one, you could use the other. If you don't like them, not at all, leave it out. Now it's time to add the custard. Guys, if you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. And also, you could leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you think.
Now guys, this is the consistency I'm looking for. If you like your bread pudding a little bit more moist, go ahead and add more liquid. But this is the perfect consistency for me. Now I'm going to prepare my baking dish. I'm going to pour the entire mixture in my baking dish. If you want, you could split it in half, in two halves, but I want a nice slice of bread pudding. So I'm going to put all of it in my one baking dish. Now guys, this might look like a lot, but it's not. Because actually, when it's baking in the oven, it's going to rise and hang over because of the yeast in the bread. But as it cools down, it's going to come back to the original size and circumference of the baking dish. So go ahead, don't be afraid. I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes and let the flavors marinate together and bake it at 350 for about an hour. There you have it guys, bread pudding up and ready. Now guys, this is still hot, but I'm going to cut into it so you see exactly what it looks like. Look at that guys, nice, flavorful, soft and tasty bread pudding. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Until then, see you in another video.